Hello and welcome to the show. Donald Trump is accused of grabbing a woman who is married by her genitals at a New Year's Eve party at his Mar club Mar-a-Lago in the early 2000s while then girlfriend Melania was upstairs. Karen Johnson described being groped by the future president during the party at Trump's club in Palm Beach, Florida, which she attended with her terminally ill husband, who was suffering from multiple sclerosis and a relative. Johnson said she was in her late 30s when the incident took place, but did not make clear which year it occurred. She would only say it took place between 2000 and when Trump became engaged on April 29, 2004 to Melania, then Melania Nose. The pair were married on January 22, 2005. Former dancer Johnson made the shocking accusation to authors Barry Levine and Monique Alfazi in their upcoming book, or the President's Woman, Donald Trump and the Making of a Predator, an excerpt of which appeared in Esquire Wednesday. She told them, when he says that thing, grab them in the pussy, that hits me hard because when he grabbed me and pulled me into that tapestry, that's where he grabbed me. Trump has publicly faced allegations from two dozen women. The book claims to reveal 43 fresh allegations of alleged inappropriate behavior, including 26 instances of unwanted sexual contact. The accusation made by Johnson is the only one the authors have currently disclosed before the book is published on October 22nd. Johnson told the authors she had often visited the Palm Beach Seaside Club owned by Trump, which was close to her home but had only met the future president once when she held her wedding reception there. She said Trump chased some of my bridesmaids around, but Trump had been nice to her. Describing the New Year's Eve party, Johnson said she had been dancing in a black Versace dress when shortly after the stroke of midnight, her husband, who suffered from multiple sclerosis, said he was feeling unwell and the relative was also ready to go home. Johnson, who was in her later 30s at the time, described the attack when she made a quick trip to the rest room before going home. She said, I hadn't seen Trump that whole entire night. I was just walking to the bathroom. I was grabbed and pulled behind a tapestry and it was him. And I'm a tall girl and I had six inch heels on and I still remember looking up at him. And he's strong and he just kissed me. I was so scared because of who he was. I don't even know where it came from. I didn't have a say in the matter. Johnson told the authors Trump then grabbed her hand and asked her to help him say goodbye to guests at the front door because Melania was upstairs. Johnson explained she pretended nothing had happened. She said I was afraid to say what had happened, I didn't even know how it happened. Johnson told the authors Trump began calling her for the next two weeks offering to fly her up from Florida to New York to see him. According to Johnson, when she explained she could not because she was taking care of her dying husband, Trump told her, don't worry about it, he'll never know you were gone. Johnson said, he'd have me back by 6 o'clock, this was like crazy. He was going to fly me to New York for the day to see him. I said, no, no, no. According to the book, Trump persisted and even offered to send a car to bring Johnson to Mar-a-Lago. Johnson again refused, telling the authors, I was scared, I don't know what to do. Johnson said following the incident, she never returned to Mar-a-Lago. She did reveal to the relative who had been with her what Trump did, but she said she never told her dying husband. She explained her reluctance to come forward, telling the authors, I feared that because I had been a dancer many years before, they would say to me, well, you must have asked for it. What he did was very traumatizing to me, and it still is. You know, I didn't ask for that. I was literally just walking through a room. No matter what my past is, I don't deserve to be treated that way. This is about a monster, an immature child running around who has no respect for anybody but himself and his giant ego. Celebrity reporter AJ Benzer also spoke to the authors and revealed Trump had asked model Kara Young to marry him, even though they had been dating for less than a year beginning in 1998. Young, who had an infant son from her first marriage, turned, down, turned the property tycoon down. Benzer, who had also dated Young, told the authors, I do know he wouldn't take no for an answer for a while and he made numerous attempts. A source close to Young told the authors that Trump wanted to remain close to Young despite having begun to also date Melania. The source said, Melania came home and saw what was not her makeup on a bathroom towel. She flipped out, a big fight ensued. They flew her, Melania, back to Mar-a-Lago. 
The authors describe how Melania and Trump split up for several months before re reconciling. Thank you. <laughs>